Hailing from the harsh and desolate world of Kali, the Kali are a race of tribal warriors, known for their strong sense of honor and unwillingness to tolerate any sort of subjugation. It is believed that the Kalish were first discovered during the Old Republic era, by the Sith race scouring the galaxy for slaves. While the Kalish were found to be suitable for slaving, many were taken to serve an even greater purpose in the eyes of the Sith. Due to their aggressive nature and desire for combat, many Kalish Force sensitives were the perfect candidates for Sith training. Despite their alien heritage, many of them began taking prominent positions within the Sith Empire of old as their power in the Force and martial skill became an asset to the Order. However, it wouldn't be until several millennia later, during the Hook Wars, that the tenacity of the Kalish would be known to all. Previously armed and trained by the Republic in order to fight the Bethavrian, the Kalish were faced with a new threat, one with much more insidious of intentions. The Mantis-like race, known as the Amri, soon invaded their homeworld. Naturally greedy, and full and violent tendencies, they began slaughtering the Kalish by the thousands, sapping them of their resources, and sending them across the galaxy to be sold as slaves. Branding their insect-like adversaries as the Hook, a Kali word which means soulless bug, the Kalish began their uprising by commencing massive raids upon Hook-controlled territory. Spearheading this war was the warlord known as Kiman Jai Shilao who would later take up the name Grievous and be feared across the entire galaxy. For years, he cut a bloody swath across the Hook's populace, putting them on the back foot and finally rendering them near helpless. Fueled by a desire for vengeance for his murdered comrades, Grievous continued to butcher the Hook by the thousands. Finally, the Hook pleaded for help from the Republic, painting the Kalish as the instigators of the war and hiding their past atrocities. In response, the Republic placed a galactic-wide embargo upon the Kalish, cutting off all trade and commerce from the entire planet. In consequence, the Kalish race began to die from starvation, as their economy was rendered completely useless by the sanctions. Watching his people slowly wither away and die, Grievous's hate for the Republic was finally born, and it was from these events the remainder of the Kalish's story became the story of General Grievous. Besides these known events, the Kalish history is largely unknown. Almost bat-like in appearance, the Kalish possess several unique features that separate them from the typical humanoid. Their first is their flat-lying face, which bears a primitive-like nose, specially adapted to pick up pheromone signatures and faint scents. They possessed clawed hands and feet, as well as large protruding ears. Their cat-like eyes have evolved to piece through near total darkness allowing them to scan the faraway reaches of their deserts during the dead of night. While General Grievous possessed large avian design legs, this is simply part of his cybernetic enhancements and is not representative of the Kalish's usual anatomy. While their feet do feature large claws, as their hands do, their legs are otherwise humanoid in appearance. Aside from these characteristics, Kalish feature dark brown skin, yellow eye color, and earthy hair. Within Kalish society, power is paramount. Their entire world is split up into several tribes, which all vied for land and resources. The leader of the tribe was determined by those who have shown the greatest prowess in battle, and trials in combat were a frequent competition between aspiring warlords. Despite their violent lifestyle, Kalish are also very spiritual beings. They wore bone masks of their kills, believing they provided good fortune and honour and spent much of their time crafting Shoni spears, which were symbolic of the struggle between Kalish and their land. They also believed that if one had achieved great honour within their lifetime, they would ascend to become demigods in the afterlife. After his death, General Grievous was believed to be considered a god amongst his own people, and as such, was revered and celebrated as the one having achieved this ultimate goal. They often made holy pilgrimages to sacred burial sites, honoring their ancestors and beseeching the gods for good fortune and power, while also honing their skill in combat and hopes of achieving their own divinity. Due to Kali's decimated economy, Kalish are a very rare sight to see outside of their home planet. If one were to encounter Kalish off-world, they would more than likely be an indentured slave or a runaway scraping for life through bounty hunting or crime. If one were to be lucky enough to meet one, 
attempting to converse with the Kalish would likely prove to be a fruitless endeavour. Many would consider them rude, but in reality, the Kalish simply just say only what they believe necessary, preferring to keep to themselves or allow actions to speak louder than words. Conversely, the Kalish seem to have very little understanding for the customs of other races. For example, many believe that polygamy, the act of having several wives instead of one, is a normal occurrence across the galaxy, and do not understand why others are astonished by the practice of this tradition. In addition, Kalish always seem to speak their native tongue only, which is also known as Kalish, making communication with this race even more unlikely. While most sentients would never come face to face with the Kalish, their prowess in combat is renowned across the galaxy, and has even proven to be worthy in the eyes of the Sith themselves. Some notable Kalish include the Sith Inquisitor, Zalik, the Anachronism, Seis Rogan, and the feared Separatist Warlord, General Grievous. 